I am most excited for this video today because Google Keep has literally changed my life. It has changed the way I operate on a day-to-day -day basis, both personally and especially professionally. So today I wanna to introduce you to Keep or maybe introduce you to new features of Keep, ways of using it, to make your coaching life a bit easier. So to-do lists, what I call a radar list and a professional learning list. These are the three things that have really made the most impact in my work and I'm hoping to share it with you. So now what is Google Keep? If it's new to you, I've got my sketch note there on the right side of the page from the coachingsketchnotebook.com and, and it's basically this wonderful bulletin board where you can add sticky notes of all sorts of categories. So if you're seeing mine, you can see that I've got one sticky note that's a quote that I might use in a PD. I've got a weekly to-do list. I've got a list of resources for one of the projects I'm working on. I've got another sticky note for a professional development coach, uh, a development session coming up, and then another one for another workshop coming up as well. Google Keep is for anything you need to organize your life. And now my Google Keep looks a little bit different now because I have shifted to different Google Keep sticky notes for each day of the week. So I'm going to escape here and I'm actually going to show you my Keep at the moment. So you'll see I've got, this is my to-do list section, upcoming sessions I'm working on, things that I do every single day to cultivate what matters most, and then what's on my to-do list for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. So that is how I organize my Google Keep to keep me sane. Because I used to have one really long to-do list and I would get so incredibly overwhelmed that I felt like it was this never-ending thing I was never going to finish. But when I divided it up into six to-do lists, Monday through Friday and a weekend to-do list, my lists condensed. They weren't quite so long and I felt like I could breathe a bit because even if I couldn't get to it today, I knew it had a place where I would get to it soon. And so I use Google Keep for my daily to-do lists and then also my radar list and my professional development ideas list as you see there on the screen. So I want you to think for a minute, if you were to have a Google Keep system, is basically just this big bulletin board with sticky notes that you can personalize, what would you have? Would you have a to-do list or would you be like me and have six to-do lists, one for each day of the week? You might create a sticky note for you to put your favorite websites that you use often or the websites that you stumble across that you don't want to forget. You can also use sticky notes to collaborate with teachers more about that in a later section of the roadmap, but also as a sticky note to just collect ideas for PDs that are coming up or presentations that you have to plan for. It's a place where you can literally take it off your mind and keep it on a sticky note and give yourself a little bit of sanity. So here's uh, another screenshot of mine. I highly recommend creating daily Google Keep to-do lists. Now, I'm not a person that wants you to be driven by a to-do list, but as I've said, I have gotten such comfort from having a list every day of the week because that means they never get too long, they're always manageable, and that way I don't stress about the 29 things I have to do that week because I know that I've put them in a sticky note on a day where I'm gonna be able to tackle it eventually. And by the end of the week, I'll have tackled the to-do list, but in a way that is manageable. And if you can see there on the screen, you can tag your lists. So I'm going to go back to my Google Keep here. You can see here's my Monday to-do list, and I actually have a to-do tag. You can come and you can label your sticky notes to be whatever you'd like, so that you can easily find them here on the left side. There are all my to-do lists. Here are my uh, different lists for the coaching sketch notebook. 
here's a note for coaching through COVID, here's notes for teaching. So once you tag your notes, you can actually organize them on the left side of the page to make it really easy for you to access. Now you can find these notes on your desktop, you can send them to your iPad, you can send them to your mobile device. So that way you always have your notes. And whenever you update one sticky note on one device, it will automatically push an update to another. So that's my first thing I'd like you to do today. Get on your Google Keep, create an account, and create daily to-do lists. And if you already have a Google Keep, Go ahead and make sure you have daily to-do lists to give it a shot and play around with color coding them and adding some tags. But I want you to add one more sticky note to your to-do list and it's called a radar list. Just a term that I made up because it works for me. And a radar list are all those tasks that you have looming ahead. You know you have to start thinking about them. You want to start thinking about them but you just do not have the time to do it just yet. You can't complete those items just yet. So the radar list is an extra list that shows, I'm going to have to do this soon. I need to put it on my radar, but I'm not gonna worry about it yet. The simple act of scrolling through all of your to-do lists and seeing this radar list and just reminding you it's there, start thinking about it when you can, but don't stress because you've got it on a list and you're going to get it taken care of, that has made a big difference in the way I approach my coaching. And so I really recommend that you add a radar list and just plop those things on it that you know are coming up, but you don't have to worry about yet and see if that helps you feel better about the crazy busy schedules that we all have right now. And then lastly, the third one I want you to add to your Google Keep is a note for presentation planning. So this was a note that I had when I was planning my coaching through COVID course. And every time I thought of an idea that I wanted to make sure I included in the course, I just came to my Google Keep note. So I could have been at the grocery store, I could have been at the doctor's office, I could have been taking a walk, and all of a sudden an idea strikes and I can't write it down, I would go to my sticky note, I'd quickly jot down make sure I show them the Menti word cloud, make sure we do the sticky note sort, make sure I show them the stuck on an escalator video. And whenever I added it to my phone, it would automatically pop up to my desktop and I'd be able to share those ideas with myself quite easily. And so now, as you saw from the beginning, I have a sticky note for just about every presentation that I have looming on the horizon so that it makes it easier to plan when these ideas strike. So there's um, my coaching through COVID one again, and you can see you can even add an icon to the top of your sticky note if you'd like. I know some people who put fancy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday headers, or you could just be like me and mainly use the titles instead. So here's your job for today. You're going to create a Google Keep system, or you're going to refine the system you already have. And so if you need to, I'm including the link so that you can explore a bit more about Keep, how it works, and how to set up your account. And then I want you to create your daily to-do lists. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend, a radar list, and a presentation planning list. And have fun with the colors. Color code them or change them up so it just looks pretty and it looks creative and it looks happy and joyful when you look at it. And then I want you to make sure that you download the app to your phone so that you have it on your device for easy access and take it one step further. I want you to move the icon to the home screen of your phone. That way, whenever you get to your phone, you're not scrolling through your pages of apps, you're seeing the apps that are most important. And while we're at it, that can go for any other app too. The apps that you know you use daily or you want to use daily, thinking about your vision that you have for your days, move them to your homepage so that they act as a tangible reminder that you actually wanna use the app or the tool that you know is going to make a difference in your life. So there you have it. Go ahead, press pause, press stop, and head off to Google Keep 
and either create or reimagine and see how daily to-do lists, a radar list, and a presentation list can really make a difference in your coaching.